So, Wilkin Weasels. What the heck is Wilkin Weasels? It's this. It's, it's a book. It's a series of things. So, I just noticed that uh, on the entirety of YouTube, there is not a single video, not a single one, about Wil Wilkin Weasels. There's plenty about Redwall, because apparently everyone grew up on those, um, but none of Wilkin Weasels. And uh, might as well um, explain to you what the heck it is and why I should care. So basically, um, Gary Kilworth is a British author who is, um, he's not well known, he's kind of successful but not well known, I don't know why. Uh, the man is kind of like Stephen King in that uh, he is a master of atmosphere, he, he can write a scene and you will feel like you're actually there. And most books are fairly considered boring, because it's, it's just text, it's words, it's words, it's there. But uh, the best writers use uh, words in such a way to transport you into the world and make you feel like you're there and forget that you're reading. And Gary can actually do that. And Welk and Weasels combines that and um, a very manic sense of action and total craziness. Basically have characters who are all interesting, who are all full of personality and... Uh, Basically, they are all a little bit crazy, and uh, the action is a bit crazy, and the uh, the story is a bit crazy. It's like, okay, so you have um, a society where humans used to be there, but then they went away, and the animals kind of took over, and uh, the basic plot of the book is, uh, well, humans are badly needed, because there's like a... A dam and the dam is breaking apart and if it breaks er everything will be flooded so basically you need to get humans back so there's like a, a band of weasels that goes uh, to find the humans but that's not crazy that's kind of like fantasy whatever fairy tale uh, the crazy pe thing is uh, there's magic all of a sudden there's magic there are some characters who know how to do magic and they do it and it's real. And no one bets an eye. It's like, okay, it happened. <laughs> There's also um, statues that were made by humans while they were still living in the land. And the statues were basically given sentience. What? Uh, it's like you have this uh, universe of uh, animals that uh, live without the humans and... Uh, you also have magic statues, golems, just walking around, just doing whatever. And uh, apparently great eagles lay eggs that have the map of the entire world on the inside so the chicks can learn how to navigate. And all of it is like considered uh, completely uh, normal. So yeah, th this thing is crazy and it's a good kind of crazy. Um, it's not stupid. Um, it's a bit insane, but, uh, it, it does not, um, the one thing I also like about this, um, the man, while he was writing this, of course, he knew that he would have to write for a certain age, but, uh, aside from eliminating, like, the biggest swear words you could think of, or, like, very, very large amounts of gore, or, I don't know, lots of complicated politics, although there's some of that here. Um, the man just didn't care while he was writing this. He would just write whatever he wanted, and apparently no one stopped him, because there's a... it's not much of a spoiler, there. They, they, the weasels that go to find the humans, on their way they meet this mysterious character who is apparently a member of the Gnostic Church. Uh, what kind of kid knows Gnostic Church. What is it? It's like a philosophy that um, we used to be one with the the God or whatever, and then the God decided to make the world and didn't know what he was doing, or she. The God is apparently female. Uh, so the world is not perfect, and we need to escape from this false reality and reunite with whatever, the true God. Or Basically, this is in the book. What kind of kid would know this crap? No, none. So the man was basically writing to entertain himself. And uh, 
it shows. There's also um, <laughs> there's also a perfect joke that uh, is not a spoiler. It, it, you don't need context. There's a me mention of Aristotle, uh, the famous um, philosopher. Only this one is Aristotle. <laughs> it's it's a stoat who is Aristotle. It's it's like a throwaway line. Like, how do you know Aristotle? You're not well read, aren't you? And the man's like, I taught myself to read. <laughs> Basically, I'm I'm rambling. What I would, what this video is all about is, uh, get this, read this, please. It's you will not be disappointed.